Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Nick, 2414. I usually don't talk about movie-wise, but when it comes to my childhood, back in the day, when I used to wear my Chucks, Gangster Nikes, and everything like that, um, this was like something that I really wanted to get. I'm out now, I'm doing, you know, I'm not gonna say, I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. And uh, I'm trying to keep myself motivated and, and just keep on going and, and, and just take that step. So hold on, let me just get this fixed real quick. So today I went to a tattoo shop where I met Magic. Everybody knows him as In Blood and Blood Out. I'm the Boogeyman. One of my favorite characters in the movie as well. So I went over there and took a picture with him. Great guy, nice, very humble dude. Um, it was it was awesome to meet him, especially when I met Puppet from American Me at the Trade Center in Corpus Christi. But I didn't get nothing signed by him. I got a mask signed by him. My mom got it for me as a gift. I still have it. Um, uh, it was really cool. I can't. I can't really wear the mask because I have to find a filter for it because it, it didn't fit it. Uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, hopefully, I got it right here. This is really cool. Uh, like I said, so American Me. I won't got it signed by signed for me. For American Me. It's my name. For my homie Nicholas. Peace. There will be. Uh, I curse it was crazy. <laughs> there you go, puppy. Twelve fifth twenty. I'm gonna say thank you, mom. But this one I got signed today. This is the newer version of the DVD that they actually got. You see, I I, I was actually gonna go take my version, the one that I had, to go get signed. These are mostly they look identical the same but regardless this one is the newer one you see the autograph and i like how he did it magic i'm the boogeyman and then this is the original one that i have this is the one that's uh and my motion sensors are going off right now this is the one from the classic version where you see the blood in blood out Man, I'm, I'm hoping they make a Blu-ray. I know when uh, I saw Puppet at the Trade Center, he said they had the Blu-rays from American Me. I think I've seen it, but it's up there in price. I will be finding it soon. I do want to build up, you know, those movies. Like, from my childhood, I used to watch all the time. So this is the, the newer version. They almost look the same, identical. The same. Um, so let me show you the newer version it's pretty cool I decided to buy a new one because you know I'm going to save this one not touch it not do anything to it just going to put it on the side have it for, for display I made sure I told him not to sign on the plastic because you know it does get damaged and uh, and I just don't want it to to come off you know I wanted, I wanted to make it last so I made sure he signed it on the on the cover of the artwork so this is the new one I know what you're gonna say it's probably a, like how they do the burnt movies and placed it but you know what it's very hard to find these brand brand new I mean you can order them but it was a great honor to meet this guy man it was, it was awesome and hopefully one day I get to take take this and and I meet the other other people of the cast and get it signed. So this is pretty cool. It's a blessed day. And I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, collecting. Probably cool it down for a little bit. Work on everything that I have to do and uh keep myself motivated and just keep on working myself up and um, 
I just want to say thank you to everybody when I was down and, and telling me to get back up. You know who you are. And uh, you're always up here. So thank you for watching. Let me just get my pen real quick. Scary Mary 2414 out. And hopefully more to come soon, but not now. This is out to give it some time.